Students from China, from our sister school, came here and my family decided we, that we should host a Chinese student, which was a great experience because um, they said it was very different from China. We went to grocery stores, to the mall, I just basically showed them what it would be like if they actually lived here, the life of an American teenager. Do you like bowling? Um, yes. Do you have bowling in China? No, I never played. James, do you like bowling? I know Chinese. His Chinese student was William and mine was Harry. Well, his real name is Han Yu. What was it was Han Yu, okay. not you Han Yu. You know what? So on Saturday, the Saturday we had him here, we went out on Lake Santa Fe on my boat, and so we had Stephen and William and Savannah and Crystal also out there, and we got to go tubing, which was definitely another experience that they've <laughs> probably never participated in. It's very, it's kind of one of those very American things, and so we had a lot of fun. It was a little bit scary at first, but then they just they, it was just like any other kid, had fun. So on Thursday afternoon, we went to Paynes Prairie, and that's where they have all the big gators, and to see a lot of wildlife, and just kind of a, a very, very Florida, North Florida thing to do. And we got to be able to get really close, and we found a little gardener snake. And so my dad caught it, picked it up, and what surprised me was was my student actually wanted to pick up the snake and take a picture. Because <laughs> he had been kind of, he would have been a little bit shy, but like he actually took the initiative to say, hey, can I take, can I take a picture of the snake? He got to experience nature that's not in like a zoo or in like something, it's not, you're not really being observed, it's kind of like you're in it. And I thought about it, like that's definitely a very unique experience, it's really cool. You knew it had to come to an end, but because it was for a week, it was just so short. I'm an only child, so it was really cool having a sister for once. So I had a lot of fun, and I was really sad to see her go. PK has a, has a sister school in Nanjing. Last year was the first time that they had uh, American students visit that school. And this year, they plan on repeating that. And it's kind of a cultural experience as well as an international um, way of uh, pulling the world together, I suppose. Everybody knows someone who's been to Europe or someone who's been like <laughs> to other places and they have stories to tell and everything, but I don't really know anyone who's been to China and it's not one of those countries you hear about and it's like communist and everything, so there's a lot of like kind of veils surrounding it in America because I thought it would be super <laughs> awesome and I was right, it was really cool. It's awkward. <laughs> I mean, yes. you kind of walk in, especially when you don't share a language, it's you kinda just kind of like walk in and like I saw a uh, my host's mother, she kind of greeted me and just kind of sat me down on the couch. And there was like TV on, there's like some Chinese opera. I was just kind of there while this family kind of like started doing its dinner routine. We've always had this like view of China as like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be so weird and so different. But like when we went there, it was like, wow, they're just regular kids. And they just speak a different language and do a couple of things different. P.K. Young is actually giving me the opportunity to go to China this year during spring break. So we get to see the students and how like they interact at school and how they interact with their families for two whole weeks. It'll be a cool experience and it's somewhere that's completely different from America. There's like some similarities and some differences, but I feel like it'll be pretty cool going to a place that a lot of people don't speak English. I'll be fine. I have my Say Hi app. I'll live. <laughs> as long as I know how to say bathroom, food, and danger, I think I'm good. Danger. Danger. <laughs> danger. Like, are you the may, except in Chinese. <laughs> I am personally really looking forward to just seeing how they, like, the similarities and the differences. I feel like it's going to be more similar than a lot of us think. I think that anyone who's thinking about this trip and thinking about this opportunity to really know that it's very important experience for people who have lived in America their entire life and haven't left. It's very important, if not vital, to the education of younger people. You just have to know like nothing bad is gonna happen. Like they're gonna treat you like their own kid and obviously their child is fine. So you just kinda <laughs> you just kinda go with the flow and just accept it and just do whatever they're doing. If you're gonna do it, you have to be like an outgoing person. 
because if you have a Chinese kid over your house or you go to a Chinese kid's house or go to their school and you just kind of like sit there on your phone the whole time, you're not going to get anything out of it. Like you're basically going to be, you might as well like be a tourist staying in the States because it's about, it's about the people you're interacting with. That's like, that's basically why you're there. I want to go to China because, I mean, it was also my first time being out of the country. Um, and to experience someone else's culture and another person's language and just be in a, in a different country, something different from what you've always grown up in, is just something I feel is exhilarating and I would love to do over and over again. You can only look at things from the same perspective so many times before you know that there's more out there. I feel like it's important to visit other countries and have an understanding of their cultures because it's beautiful to learn about new cultures and see new countries and visit new people and learn of their ways of living because I feel like that's gonna, like, that changes us, you know? It's like, I don't know, it, it, it changes our perspective of life.